I'm Johnny Millennium, this is Victor Lucas, and this is Film Fury. And today we're going to review the Netflix original, Glow. But before we get into that, we want to thank our friends at the VFS School of Film. Our second Netflix review on Film Fury, and I almost didn't even watch this show. I didn't even know anything about it. I remember Glow, the Glorious Ladies of Wrestling yep. from the 80s, yes. which were a bunch of older ladies wrestling that I never really <laughs> was totally into. And then all, all of a sudden, Twitter was just exploding, saying, oh, you've got to see this show, you got to see this did show. Did you like, suggest it, or did your wife, Kim, suggest well, it? Well, no, Twitter, people on Twitter were talking okay, about okay, it. Okay. So I convinced Kim, I'm like, do you want to sit and watch this? Yeah. And we watched it, and we were absolutely blown away. Then I talked to you about it. Yeah, your enthusiasm was like, okay, let's watch it. We'll talk about it. We'll review it on the show here. Yeah, what did you think about GLOW? I uh, I loved it. You know, it was kind of a slow burn for me because I'm not a huge wrestling fan. Yeah. Uh, but Betty Gilpin, who plays one of the main uh, roles on here, she plays the soap opera actress that uh, kind of gets the sucked American, in. Yeah. yeah, she gets sucked into becoming one of the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Uh, she kind of has this epiphanous moment where she understands that it is just soap operas again and she understands the physical sort of value and the uh, the entertainment value of wrestling and when she says it and has that that moment on screen it's like I had that same you feeling. Bought it. Yeah, so you I was bought like, it oh my god, it. yeah, this was fun. I enjoyed this. That's interesting. I, I actually, I really love wrestling. I really enjoy wrestling. Okay. But what I like more than wrestling is the '80s, where I really <laughs> yeah. saw wrestling in. Yeah. And this all takes place in the 1980s. It's a bunch of actresses that are really out of work. A bunch of women on the fringe, you know, trying to find their way in life, yep. trying to find some direction. And then they hear about this audition <laughs> for this thing called Glow, <laughs> and they all show up and they're thinking, oh, it's gonna be some acting gig. And it turns out it's a wrestling show. Yeah. And they're all apprehensive. Yes. Some are better than others. And it's about how they all interact with each other in the 1980s. Yeah. It's brilliant. Well, you know, I think there's some echoes here, some parallels with Orange is the New Black, which is an incredible show that Netflix has had much success with. But I think the freedoms of setting this in, a, uh, in the wrestling and in the 1980s allows for a lot more comedy this is really a comedy yes uh, but there is also some real heartfelt kind of uh, stuff in here and you do end up caring about every single character and all the performers are so damn solid I was blown away by Alison Brie I mean she's always been yes. great in everything that she's been in but she literally throws her the whole self into this role of this uh, actress that at the, at the end of her rope can't get cast for to save her life does some uh, despicable things at the beginning of the series yes. and then she kind of has to crawl and find her way back and she finds herself as this wrestler and she's so good and you know why she's so good is that we all remember her from Community yes and she's the pretty spunky type yep. of girl there or Mad Men but, yeah, yeah. She, but right here she's not playing that character no she's she doesn't wear a lot of makeup yeah she's kind of a you know, a down on herself kind of actress. She's a, you know, really, there's at one point my wife's like, I hate this woman. Yeah. I said, that's because it's working. Yes. Her character's working. We're supposed to not like her. Well, it's very, we don't like her. It's a lot. very meta, too, because the, the character that she ends up taking control of in the it's ring. A very strong yeah, character. Yeah, she. she I, I don't want to, I have to ruin it a bit, but she becomes this kind of Russian baddie yeah. compared to Betty Gilpin's all American uh, and they have, yeah, woman. Yeah, great banter back and forth. And great wrestling scenes, but there's this one moment where you talk about her not wearing a lot of makeup, except when she's in the ring, yes. she's got a lot of makeup. But she takes off one of those big Russian hats and her hair was exactly that, the same that shape great underneath the hat. And I was like, oh, this is perfection. Perfection, it is so, 80s it's perfection. It's so hilarious. So hilarious. Yeah, the, the hairstyles all the way throughout. But I have to give a special shout out to, I mean, all the females are fantastic. Right. And it's really them that are the heart and soul of the, of the show. But uh, Mark Marin. Holy, Holy crap, shit. as Sam Sylvia, the director of the, the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, he's fantastic. He plays a guy named Sam Sylvia who has these schlocky movies. Yeah, he's and a he's coach, all... he's a director, yeah, and, he's, he's, and he's not very good at it, but he kind terrible. of is. The worst yeah. bedside manner you could ever see in anybody. And, and Marin just kills it in every it. scene he's in. He's so slimy and, and crappy Dece to people and deceitful and yeah. just a, an asshole all the way through this thing. But you love him because he's him. so good. He's so real. Yes. And you end up caring about this guy. Yeah. You, and that's the thing. You get to learn all about each individual character in this. Yeah. So you get to learn about, you know, Allison, Brie, or her character. You get to, and another character we have to talk about, there's a small small cameo character. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find out a lot more about her, yeah. is Ellen Wong. And I haven't seen this girl since Scott Pilgrim, who played Knives. Oh, wow, okay. And it was Kim who pointed her out. She's like, 
I know her, and I'm like, yeah, me too. And she's like, that's Knives. And we looked it up, and like, yeah, it is. It's Ellen Wong. Oh, so that's great. It's really, really cool to see yeah. her in this role and a little bit different role. I want to see a little bit more of her character yeah. come out as we go all along. But yeah, and really I, fun. I don't know if the second season has been picked up yet, but this seems like a no-brainer. Better be. This, this is the second thing in 2017 that has kind of charmed me to wrestling because Heel Kick, uh, the movie that oh, my yeah. friends directed and starred in and produced, uh, Danny Mac and Cooper and Greg Miller was a producer on the thing. That was also a lot of fun too. So I don't know what's going on, but wrestling, which I didn't grow up on. You never watched wrestling I in the 80s? I didn't watch wrestling. I wasn't a Transformers Hulk Hogan? guy. How are we friends? I don't understand <laughs> this. You didn't like wrestling. You didn't watch Transformers. You don't like the Dark Crystal. I said it. Yeah. No, I'm not huge on the Dark Crystal. You're not huge yeah, on the Dark no, Crystal. But I, honestly, though, this like wrestling is starting to win me over here. It's I feel great. like I got to watch some WWE next. It's fun. It's a, it's a soap opera for men. It yeah. always, or a soap opera for women. It's a soap opera for everybody. Well, and that's what's so fun about it. These ridiculous, over-the-top storylines, the stereotypes of the 80s. I don't know. If it all there. works for real, I don't. I still don't know. <laughs> I love but it. this show works. Yes. This show is fun as hell to watch. It is. It's uh, you know, overtly crazy physical. I did love the wrestler movie that Mickey Rourke was Oh, that's was a good in. one too. That yeah. was incredible. Yeah. But uh, this this is a, a wonderful show, and you know, applause to all of the the people involved behind the scenes. But Allison Brie and Mark Maron and Patty uh, Betty Gilpin and all the performers. I even like the uh, the sort of Miami Vice like uh, producer that's always <laughs> oh, coming he's in. Oh, great. Yeah. He's so <laughs> Just trying to figure things out all yeah. the time. Yeah, it was it was really, really fun. I love this first season. I hope there's more. I really do hope there's more. So we're going to get to that point. What are you going to give Glow? I think Glow is fantastic. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. How about it you? It's a 9 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love it. Right on. So if you want to work in amazing shows like Glow or make your own, you can learn how to do so at the VFS School of Film in their one-year program. You can go to vfs.edu for more information.